Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my YouTube channel, Ramzan Biology student. Today I have another topic for you, the reproductive system of Chan Biology. So, uh, actually, a reproductive system as a tie, as a system of our body, through which a body produces their offspring. So, actually, everybody has the uh, quality to produce other offspring in order to uh, maintain its generation like in human uh, a father dies so its con son come and if son come so uh, uh, dies so its grandson come and actually this chain um, passes from one generation to next generation this chain goes through life okay so on this way today we are going to talk about this ability of a body to reproduce its offspring before it dies and Actually, the reproductive system uh, and the reproduction can be divided into two branches. One is the uh, sexual reproduction and second is the asexual reproduction. But today we have to focus our study only toward asexual. So, if we look to the definition of asexual reproduction, so we say that a type of reproduction through which an offspring is produced but without the fusion of gametes of male and female. In this type of reproduction, no male and female are involved. Only single parent is involved and produces its offspring. And the second one, the male and female sexual are involved. So we have to focus only this. Gimus are also called sexual. So in this type of reproduction, male and female are not involved, but only one single parent is involved. There are several... Uh, several effects and several uh, properties of the SSL reproduction, the A offspring will be identical to the parent. So, uh, like this is a parent cell, so when it produces its offspring through the SSL reproduction, so like this is the uh, offspring, so it will be identical to the parents because there is no any sex cell. Because only single parent is involved and the single parent produce a single uh, offspring so it will be directly identical to the parent because the genetic variation comes from the fusion of male and female gametes. Second, it involves only single parent so it involves only single parent you can see here. It does not create genetic variation, so I said that it involves single parent and the genetic variation is created by the fusion or the involving of the male and female uh, two parents. So there is only single parent, so there is no any genetic variation, so the uh, offspring will be directly identical, same characteristics in, uh, to the parent. The five offspring are called clones. So, it produce this offspring, so this offspring is called the clone. Now, you know about the asexual reproduction, so now we are going to talk about asexual reproduction and some unicellular organism and also fungi. Fungi is a multicellular, while the unicellular are bacteria, omega, calmurinus. So we will talk about the um, asexual reproduction uh, occurring in unicellular organism first. So let's come. Asexual reproduction can be divided into several parts or the several palms. So if we look at the bacteria, so the bacteria and a bacteria asexual reproduction occur by the process of binary fission. So binary fission is a palm or a types of asexual reproduction through which an organism through it from the body of an organism divide it cut in the center and divide into two. So it mostly occur in the bacteria. So we are talking about its stages. So you can see here that these are the stages of the um, binary fission. So this is the bacteria. This whole cell is the bacteria. Bacteria contain DNA. And this DNA is spread in the uh, cytoplasm of the cell because bacteria don't have a membranous nucleus so therefore the DNA is spread in the uh, cytoplasma of the uh, bacteria so you can see here this red portion is the DNA and bacteria possess cell membrane this you can see here this green portion is called the cell membrane the green portion while this uh, 
Black version is called the cell wall. So bacteria also possess the cell wall. This is the structure uh, of a bacterial cell. So you can see here, this is a normal big cell. So we say that a cell will divide until a cell will not divide until it reaches to a stage when it becomes enlarged. So before the bacteria cell will produce, it is uh, small. Okay. It is small. So this cell then uh, survive independently and uh, it become large because we are human also become large. So in this way, bacteria also, which is in general, it have only one cell, but it is only one cell also become large. So when it become large, so then it undergoes the process of binary fission. So it is a normal big cell. And the second stage are the first stage of the binary patient. We say that the cell replicate as DNA. So you can see that this is the DNA of the bacteria cell. So the bacteria cell divide or replicate its DNA. You can see here, this is the first DNA and the second DNA. So now a bacteria cell contain two, two DNA, two DNA material, this and this. The third one, the second, uh, the second step of binary fission is cytoplasmic embryo elongate and DNA mode different poles. Okay, so now when the cell replicate its DNA, so the cell embryo elongate, it it elongate it extend from its original position like this. Okay, so when the cell embryo elongate, so its cytoplasm also elongate. And cell become more large because now there is a division of two cells. Now there is a formation of two cells to offspring. Okay, so the cell cytoplasma membrane elongate, and this way the DNA two DNA material also um, separate from each other, and this DNA material move to different poles. This pole and this pole. Now it's the one pole is the second pole. Okay. And the third the cell membrane imaginate. So when we saw that the uh, DNA material move to different poles, so now there is a formation of offspring. So this large elongated cell must be cut on the uh, central part. So therefore, this is the cell membrane is the inner one. So it elongate. You can see here, it elongate. Okay, it constrict. To inner side, and the first way to say that this elongation comes like this, eh? comes come down from here also from here also. So it come down and this way the cell membrane across wall completely palm. So on this tip there was no formation of uh, of a complete wall. You can see here there was no complete wall. So now a complete wall is formed. And the last step, when the complete wall is permit, so the two daughter cell. So when this complete uh, wall is permit, so now there is no any connection between the two cells. So it have to divide into two cells. So you can see here, these are the two cells which are permit by the binary patient. And this is one bacteria or daughter cell, this is two bacteria cell. And this way, it this cell then uh, survive independently and it also uh, become large like this cell and it also produce two cell and this also produce two cell and that's where the chain of bacteria uh, production offspring is um, going on nextly we will talk about the multiple patient so actually, multiple patients mostly occur in also in your cellular organism like uh, uh, Kalman Bonas, Omega. So today we are talking about the Omega in which the multiple patients occur. It is a process through which a cell divides its nucleus firstly and then the nucleus palm and uh, uh, come out from that cell and then start a new living independently. Okay. So talking about, the, you can see here, this is a parent omeba, which is a unicellular organism. You can see here the structure of omeba, parent omeba. And the first step of the multiple patient in omeba, we come across a step. You can see here, this is a parent omeba. So you can see here, 
the passive as a cell pump cells a protective membrane you can see here this this is called a cyst this green uh, membrane is called the cyst so firstly the omega pump assists a protective membrane around its cell okay so usually this process of multiple patient occur in occurring in MUBA during unfavorable condition the condition in which there is a dangerous part omega so the omega divide so there part the omega form a protective strong protective membrane which we call cyst around a, a, a cell in order to provide provide protection for the inner cell for in order to divide the nucleus independently okay around and divide its nucleus and the cyst is formed around the cell and the central nucleus is divided into many nucleus and other there are a lot of nucleus is formed in one cell of the omega and the secret step the cell membrane form around each nucleus so there was no any uh, cell membrane so now there in a single cell each nucleus is surrounded by uh, separate cell membranes. And the third step, many daughter uh, uh, omega palmate. So you see that cell membrane is palmate around each cell. You can see here each cell is surrounded by the green portion of the called cell membrane. So now from here, a little portion of the cyst is cut. Okay, this all cell is surrounded by this cyst membrane, but other portion is cut it and the cell membrane which was uh, surrounded around its nucleus. So the nucleus surrounded by the cell membrane come out from the cell and a lot of omega are formed. Okay, so next we will talk about.